I'm Murphy Henry and welcome to the Murphy Method for Guitar. Today, even if you've never played the guitar before, we're going to start learning how to play the guitar. And those three chords that I was just playing for you, the G, C, and D, will be the chords that we're going to use to make quite a number of bluegrass, country, and folk songs here on this video. All right, now, the first thing we have to know about playing the guitar is how to hold our pick. Now, the bluegrass guitar is played, generally speaking, with a flat pick. Now, there are many shapes and styles of flat pick, but this is the type that I prefer. Now, most people pick with a pointed end of the flat pick that you see right here, but I do all my picking with one of the rounded edges of the flat pick. You may do yours with either edge of the flat pick that you prefer. Now, the way we're going to hold the flat pick, we're going to put the flat pick across the first joint of the index finger. See, it's lying right there. I put the thumb on top of it. Okay, the thing you want to avoid is holding the pick between the two little pads of your fingers. That's not a good way to hold the flat pick. This is the proper way to hold the flat pick. All right, now from this angle, you can see the pick is lying across the first joint of the index finger. It's being covered by the thumb. And then when we pick on the guitar, of course, you don't know any chords yet. We'll get to that. But when you're striking the strings, it looks like this. And notice right off that I'm playing with a loose wrist. It's not stiff up and down like this. See, just very, very relaxed. Now the first chord we're going to learn to make is called the G chord, and it looks like this. This is the G chord. All right, in order to make the G chord, we're going to place our fingers like this. First of all, these little wires running across the neck of the guitar are called the frets. So I'm going to be telling you to place your fingers like this. I'm going to say, put your ring finger on the third fret of the bass E string. Now when I say on the fret, you can see I really mean behind the fret. If you put it on the fret, you're gonna get a thunky sound like that. Okay, behind the fret. So ring finger on third fret of the bass E string. Middle finger on second fret of the A string. Okay, little finger on third fret of the high E string. Okay, I know it's going to be difficult for you to get your fingers in that position, especially if you've never played before. All right, now that you know how to make the G chord, we need to learn how to do our bluegrass strum. Even if your chord's not sounding real clear right now, let's go ahead and practice the strum. All right, the bluegrass strum sounds like this. Now, what we're doing here, we're hitting a bass note and then strumming down on the last three strings of the guitar. And there will be a different set of bass notes for every chord. All right, in the G chord, we're going to hit the bass E string where it's already fretted at the third fret. And we're going to strum down on the last three strings. See? The strum is just on the last three strings of the guitar. You don't strum across all the strings. And of course, you want to try to hit those three strings at the same time. Okay, then our next bass note is the D string, which of course is open in the G chord. That means it's not fretted. So we hit the D string, strum on the last three strings. So it's bass E, strum, D. Strong. E string, D string. 